Okay, I think we're ready. Do it. You do this first one here, and then you get a smoothie. Oh, I get rewarded? Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, time to start another day of shower mosaic. What is it? Broken dish shower mosaic. That's right. Oh, just mud the whole wall you need? Yeah, I guess so. Yeah, it might as well, huh? Look at you, Tyler. Oh my god. She's just picking it up super fast. Seeing as she's gonna be like, I've got a job. <laughs> I'm just doing a small mural on the side of this building. You can, uh, yeah, you can just, just go like that. This. Yep, exactly. Come back. Right here. Perfect. Okay, are we ready? We are. Okay, does it seem like it's matching up with both this side and that side? Yes, it is now. When you pulled that down, it went perfect. Okay. I'm going to do the other side and then the piece that goes in between and hope that it all matches up. <laughs> It just amazes me that they just stick right into that stuff. I'm so glad it does. I know. Uh-oh. This is not matching up. <laughs> Uh-oh. Right? You better push that one over to the left, push that first one over here. This one is the one that needs yeah. to move. There we go. Nice. Okay. Now put that EAC in there. <laughs> Wake up, fishy! All right, go get some more. I'll make us a smoothie. Okay. The smoothie turned out amazing as usual. I got Carrie a Vitamix for Christmas that she's never used, but I've used probably 600 times. He makes me smoothies though. It's the best Christmas present ever. <laughs> yeah, came with one year of free smoothies. Mm -hmm. Wait till you see next year. One year? I'm sorry. Lifetime supply of free smoothies. <sighs> Please, woman. Look, I'm getting braver and braver and taking great big pieces at a time. Because I've rubbed them all on with a popsicle stick, I know they're not going to fall off. Oh my gosh, this is a big heavy piece. Yeah, you have to watch for slumbage. Yep. You're going to have to press every single piece in really firmly. Now, for some reason, I feel like... I'm closer. Oh, no, maybe not. I just needed to get my glasses on. Never mind. Everything's fine now that I have my glasses on. She actually couldn't see the wall. <laughs> I was like, where did it go? It's going in so nice. Yeah, I feel like this is going in like faster and easier. <laughs> but just... you're definitely putting it in with more confidence. Than you did the first time. Yeah, I'm just getting You're just used slapping to it. it up now. God, it's amazing. You're doing such a great job on this. Thanks. I was so like worried about how emotional this would actually be for you <laughs> right and the fact that it's going on easier than both of us expected honestly is good for everybody it was like Phew. 
<laughs> we real. thought there was going to be like tears Te- and knew. breakdowns. We thought I was going to end up hospitalized. No, we're no. not done yet. <laughs> <laughs> it, could, it could always go downhill from here. <laughs> Okay, no slumping, good buddy. You hear me? Just stay right there where I put ya. Oh my god, now I'm talking to the tiles. Yeah. I think this mosaic is making me lose my mind. This piece has the very first beginning edges of the coral reef that will be going in on this wall next. That we can't film, but unfortunately, because there's not enough. You won't room. be able to see it. We'll so have you to guys put... can't. I'm sorry you won't be able to see it. In any no, room. we'll like, we'll put the GoPro up on the ceiling, like shooting down. <laughs> no, I'll we'll hand, be able to I'll see it. Hold it. Okay. <laughs> it looks so pretty. It looks so good, doesn't it? Mm-hmm. It's crazy to me that these pieces can be so like, misshapen and ragged and jagged like when i was first trying to make this i only wanted to use the pieces that were perfectly you know almost square or rectangle but there just wasn't enough like i had to start using the pieces that were more oddly shaped but then i started falling in love with the pieces that were more oddly shaped and the way they make they just make it look different than how I would have done it in my own mind. I think I tend to be so perfectionist that I would have made everything just like a grid work of perfect squares all the same size and it would have looked like pixels. Mm -hmm. But I love this. I love the organic, natural look of how this flows. I'm just totally in love with the broken dish thing. That's, you're doing a hell of a job. I love it. My favorite little part, my little oh, look at pupper. Little He's so cute. <laughs> okay, last three pieces. Can't believe how fast this is going now. I'm a good Tyler now. You're a big girl now, Carrie. Glasses on. Oh, please fit, please fit, please fit. Shoot. What? It's crowded up. Like, this stuff has all just slumped down to where it's crowding on top of my tiles. Oh, no. Like, this line, there's no gap in between this row of tiles and this row of tiles. They're just, like, sitting on top of one another. Push up the stuff above it, can you still? That stuff's moving. Yeah, this one kind of slid up a little. Yeah. I mean, it's going in, I'm getting it in. It's just like everything's kind of scrunching up a little right. bit. Well, that's okay though. It's down at the bottom. It's going to be less noticeable than anything else. Okay, I think I got everything. That's awesome. It ended up kind of smooshed in down at the bottom, but it's in. Look how empty the mosaic room looks, y'all. So I'm just getting ready to add clear contact paper to the last remaining bit, the coral reef, and I thought I'd show you how I do that.
Oh, look, we didn't even realize I haven't taken the contact paper off this whole wall yet. So here's the big reveal. This one I feel like you can see through the contact paper better though. It's not as messy. Right. Whoops, it's tearing the contact paper. That's weird. I made a total mistake in my mosaic, you guys, where I put the line. <laughs> you can see that the line is right here, and then you can see that these tiles have slumped down. Not only that, this line isn't where the line should be. The line should be about a quarter inch above that because once I get this layer of tiles down, that's going to be like the surface of the water. And so the line should have been a quarter inch higher up here. So there's going to be like a huge gap <laughs> between where my tiles should have been and where they actually are. And if I had enough, it would be great if I could just like add another line of tiles, but I don't have any more of those plates. So I don't know exactly how I'm going to work it out, but I'm going to try to be creative and figure something out right there. We'll see what happens. Look at that. Oh, oh, I was just about to brag how the fishies were staying on and then that one came off. <laughs> so lame. I can also really feel how much harder this contact paper is stuck on. Mm -hmm. Once you rub it on. Yeah, from rubbing it on with the popsicle sticks, I guess because it's actually making the contact paper tear. That never happened on the other two walls. Right. Hopefully my little fishy stays together. My little pepper. Yay! Yay for my pepper. He's a cute little guy. I know, huh? <laughs> Okay, here's what I was trying to explain a little bit earlier, is that when I put the top piece of mosaic on like this, now you can tell that the top of mosaic is here and the top of the next pieces are about an inch below, <laughs> which is kind of a bummer. I'm not, I'm just not sure what to do. I can't add more because I don't have enough to go all the way around. And over here it is on the line. Like, I think I'm just going to have to just go with it and hopefully it won't be too noticeable. I'll put that back in the bookie. What are you cutting it like that for? Okay, on the top two rows, I'm going to kind of spread them apart a little bit more so I can get it kind of up here higher. Oh, okay. But, and then just kind of blend in a little bit. Yes. Hoping it looks okay. Now I'll just have a bit of a space. as I put this one on. I'm just letting the line of grout be a little bit thicker between the top two rows. So I can still get these up high and you know, see they're not matching up exactly. But I'd rather do this than just leave a huge line of black grout at mm -hmm. the top. Okay, there. Now I'm just gonna go with the rest of them as is. Just matching up with their little mates over here. Two. Yeah, you can hardly really tell that much of a difference just by evening it out like that, spacing it out. 
there's something different about my little like my red coral and my little other sea life a lot of them i made um i put a piece of contact paper flipped upside down with the sticky side up and i built them on the contact paper so the pieces wouldn't move around so now i'm having to peel the contact paper off the backs of them in order to stick them into the thin set I was a little bit worried about how this was going to work, but it's doing just fine. Probably because I rubbed the fronts with a popsicle stick and this wasn't rubbed on at all. Oh yeah, this one's coming off super easy. Okay. If you guys haven't tried these pretzels right here, they're delicious. They are like, these are the Ritz of pretzels. They're so delicious. So anyway, hashtag not sponsored dots. <laughs> oh no! Oh, oh, man! A travesty has unfolded in the bus! Giant pretzel. Dun, dun, dun. Dun. Oh. It's pretzel apocalypse. These are the Southwest style ones. They're hot, they're spicy, they're all over the floor! I'm pushing every piece into the thin set because I don't want to, I don't want to lose them. working perfect where I cut that little slot in there. Okay, yay! Everything went in great. Make sure those are all the way in. The great barrier reef. <laughs> it is a great barrier reef, isn't it? It really is. <laughs> They're gluing your old fishies too. Oh yeah, there's that little fishy. And that little fishy, all the little fishies. In the deep blue sea, joy to you and me. <laughs> oh yeah, we're a little much. Okay, my fishies are repaired. Squish it in place. Lovely. <laughs> it's barely fitting in. Is that big one resting on top of something? These? That one. No, they're just... On the left pit. side of it? Oh, maybe so. That's better. Okay. Man, this is hard to do. It was hard to get it right. Obviously, I didn't. See if this bottom piece fits in or not. I'm thinking it's going to be not. My stuff must have been slumping as I was working. So I'm just going to cut off this bottom portion. Don't cut on that. <laughs> and then. I'll have to nip off the bottom edge right. of all of these Can and I come back it? and stick it back in there. Yeah. <sighs> I guess I'm just going to have to go for it. I'm just afraid that it's going to end up being too wide. 
You know, worst case scenario, I'll trim a whole edge off and trim those pieces. Right. Okay, let me just mud up this wall. Oh, and by the way, like if you already know who Miss Frizzle is, then you need no explanation as to why there is a school bus at the bottom of the ocean. It's the magic school bus. I never did this. Oh, I'm pushing it straight into like thick, thick, gushy thin set. Yeah. Dang it. See that edge? I'm making a lot of mistakes today. I'm just gonna put this in. If it'll fit. Big mad goober. <laughs> <laughs> I like our little school bus in there. Okay, good. I was really worried that this was going to be too crowded, and it's not at all. I think that I should go bottom up. Like, I think I should do this surface first, and then do the whole side wall, and then do this surface. Okay. Sound like a plan? Sure. I love this color on these plates. Oh shoot. Hmm. hmm. Let's start with this edge. Almost done. Pretty excited about this. Nice. I am going to do it this way. Oh, okay, good. We're matching up. Okay. I think that's it. <laughs> it's so Perfect. fun putting this piece on. I think that's probably good. All right. I'm taking off this one first. This is my favorite part by far. Taking off the contact paper and having them all just be stuffed down. So cool. Okay, I gotta get to work in here. Why can I not get the end of this? Because you can't see. Better get my glasses on. Oh, and by the way, I have officially earned the string around my neck on my glasses. I just became a grandma this week. My oldest son had a baby boy named Atreus. Eight pounds, one ounce. So I'm pretty proud right now. Remarkably proud. Whoa, settle down, Grandma. <laughs> Unfortunately, I won't get to go visit for a while until this stupid virus thing calms down. Yeah, I'm kidding. Because they don't live in Arizona. I would have to travel out of state. And for those of you who are buying all the toilet paper, stop it! Oh my god, I just popped the piece out. Bummer. You know what? I better be careful. Underneath this, the thin set is still a little bit wet. this way. I'm going to lay it that way so I can put it back in later. See, I knew I needed to do slightly thicker, a thicker layer of thin set on this because a lot of these pieces, ah, uh, another one came out. A lot of these pieces um, are very thin plate. 
Those yeah, white yeah. pieces were very thin plate. He had much deeper grout though, so his pieces look like they're staying in. Yeah. Here's my little seahorse. I think it's so cute. Our little school bus is funny. Yeah. <laughs> Let me switch it to underwater mode. <laughs> so that's about it for today's mosaic update. Um, after this, I have to get busy back in the back bedroom and um, lay out all the sun and sky to complete the mosaic the rest of the way up. So it's going to be a while. Be patient. Bear with me. I'll try to give you updates as I go along, but I also need to work a lot faster now than I have been working because we're getting closer and closer to the end of the bus build. So I guess I better hustle. Love is an ocean